Okay, welcome back. My name is Adam with UploadWP.com, and this is the second video in our series on how to build an e-commerce site using uh, the WooCommerce plugin and the WooStore theme. Uh, we're going to be building this uh, t-shirt site, WorldCupTees.com, which basically we're going to sell soccer t-shirts uh, from start to finish. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to follow along with us and um, use these videos to build your uh, e-commerce site using uh, using WordPress. Um, so what we're going to do, what we did in the last video is we installed the WooCommerce plugin, we installed the WooStore theme, and I just gave you a general overview on what uh, WooCommerce is all about and what you can do with it. So what we're going to do in this video, uh, these next two videos actually, is we're going to set up the WooCommerce uh, settings and then the WooStore theme uh, settings. So let's go ahead and log in to our WordPress admin. And if we log in, first we're going to set up our WooCommerce settings. Okay, so let's go to WooCommerce and then just click on settings. And I'm going to point out basically what's most important here, what you need to do uh, on your first pass through these settings after you've installed WooCommerce and your WooStore theme. We're not going to set everything up in this first go around because there's just too much. I just want to point out what's important, what you what you should update right away before you start to actually customize the theme. All right. So in this case, what we're going to start with is the general options, and we're located in the United States. So I'm going to change this from United Kingdom to United States, and then choose the state that you're located in. In this case, we're in Wisconsin. So I'm going to scroll down and find Wisconsin and just click on that. So now we have our base country region as United States Wisconsin. And obviously our currency is the US dollar. Um, and then here's where you can choose what countries you, you want to allow people to, pr uh, to purchase your items from. Um, you know, in this case, uh, I would want to do specific countries and then I would just want to do United States because I wouldn't want to pay for international shipping to start out with. Maybe you do. This is all based on your specific business model, what you sell. Uh, but just know that you can really customize and, and allow uh, people that you want from, from certain regions to purchase your products. Um, and uh, so bear with me if I'm going through this a little quick I should note this uh, if you have specific questions that I don't cover in these videos where I show you the uh, settings just email me uh, at uploadwp.com and I'll either make a specific video for you or I'll walk you through the process alright so as we scroll down here uh, check out account and accounts this is where you set up uh, basically how you want your card to function and uh, the creation of accounts to uh, to function um, I really just leave all of these settings to start out with how they are default uh, as the default. I really don't recommend making any changes to this right now until your store is up and running and then you can you know fine tune and tweak things. Um, down here styles and scripts this is where you can customize the look and feel of the of the shopping cart and the total checkout uh, the checkout pages and everything and then digital downloads this is if you sell a downloadable product like music or images or whatever. Um, this is where you set that up, how you want how you want that to work after purchase. Uh, in this case, we're selling T-shirts, so we don't need to focus on uh, digital downloads at all. But just know that it is there if you want to sell downloadable products. Okay, so those are the general settings. Really, the main thing to do on your first pass through is just select your country, your state, and your currency. Next, if we click on the catalogs tab up here, this is where we're going to manage how our products, our product catalog. Um, uh, how that is set up. So, really, what you have here is your default product sorting. This shows pe this is how people search for your products on the site. You can allow them to sort alphabetically by most recent or by price. Again, most of the settings in here um, I would focus on after you've actually set up your product categories and set up some products, and then come back in here and fine tune and tweak things. You don't need to worry too much about this in your first pass through. I just want to point out what's what's here, what's important. One thing I do like to always check is redirects. I like to check this box here, uh, which redirect to cart after adding a product to the uh, to the cart. So that let's say I'm shopping on the site, I add a T-shirt to my cart, it would automatically take me to the cart to purchase. I like checking that because I, I think it helps with conversions, but you may not. Whatever you want to do. Um, Again, a lot of this stuff is completely based on your your business model and what you're selling. Um, product data, 
Okay, this is where we can enable as much uh, information about the product as we want. If we're going to be using SKUs, you, you want to check that. Um, enable weight if you want to put a weight on the item and dimensions, and that's more for shipping. Uh, that's based on your shipping methods. Um, you can enable that. In this case, I wouldn't use weight or dimensions because I'm selling t-shirts. Um, but it really, it can get as complicated or as easy as you want it to or you need it to. Okay, so product data, this is where we just know that that's where you would enable your SKU and your weight and your dimensions for your products if you choose to use that option. Pricing options, this is just basically how the pricing is going to display uh, on the website. And then image options, this is how your catalog images are going to display the size and how you want to crop them. So again, I would recommend leaving everything here default uh, on the default settings until you actually have some products out there and then you can come in and fine tune your product catalog. Pages, uh, let's go to the pages tabs here, tab here, and again everything on the pages tab I wouldn't touch to start out with. I would leave all of this default. Um, one thing I do want to point out is the shop pages. These were the pages that were automatically created when you uh, activated the WooCommerce plugin and it asked if you wanted to create the shop pages right away. Uh, you did, so you, your cart, your checkout, your checkout pay, order received, all these pages were automatically created. These all need to be here uh, for the WooCommerce uh, platform to work correctly. So that's what, uh, what happened when you installed uh, and activated and chose to create your shop pages. All right, so again, pages, I would leave that alone for now. I'm just going through this quickly to point this out. Again, if you have specific questions, just email me and I will uh, get back to you with a more de detailed answer. Uh, inventory is where you can choose to manage stock if you want. So if you're going to uh, be keeping track of, of inventory, you would uh, want to enable this. Um, and then you have notifications here that let you know when your stock's getting low, for example, uh, low stock threshold, let's say I set that to five, that would mean I would get an email uh, from the system, from the site telling me, hey, you only have five left, you better either order more product or uh, take that product off the site. Um, so you can play around with this. If you are going to track inventory, then you'll want to set up, uh, check that box and set, these, uh, set up uh, your inventory tab. Okay, so if we go to the tax tab, now this is completely uh, taxes are totally based on where you live and where you're selling from, where your business is set up. Um, I think the rule of thumb typically is you have to charge, for example, if we live in Wisconsin and operate this site from Wisconsin, we would have to charge sales tax from anybody that purchased from our site that lives in Wisconsin as well. Now, taxes are completely different based on the state you live in. So you really just need to do some research and figure out how you need to set up your, your taxes. Uh, but just know that however you do need to set up your taxes, you can do that here um, at the local level, tax rates, uh, all of the functionality to set up taxes based on how you need them set up uh, are available within this tax tab here. Shipping again is like taxes, it's, it's really depends on what you're selling, it depends on your business model. Um, but just know that you can set up whatever shipping methods you need that are completely custom to your business. Uh, I like to, for, for my t-shirt sites, I like to uh, just do a flat rate shipping uh, charge and then anything over like $50 I uh, do free shipping. But again, shipping and taxes are completely, uh, they're very unique to what you're selling into your particular business model, but just know that whatever you need to set up can be set up uh, in here. Payment gateways, uh, here's another thing that uh, is really depends on your business model. I like to use PayPal because it's easy, it's free, and I can start uh, selling right away. I don't have to go through the process of you know, getting a payment gateway and setting up an SSL cert, which you can do if you want to. This uh, integrates easily with all the major payment gateways. Um, so really any payment method that you need to use you can do and you can set up. I like to just use PayPal and it's super easy to set it up. I would just check PayPal and then click on the PayPal tab and enter my PayPal email address here and I'm set up and ready to take orders through, uh, via PayPal through the site. So 
it's really really easy to set that up but you can use whatever payment method you that you like uh, including just taking credit cards on your site if you were to use a payment gateway like authorized.net or any of the other major ones um, there's extensions uh, that you can purchase uh, if you go to WooCommerce or the uh, WooCommerce site you'll be able to purchase as many or whatever uh, payment gateway extension that you need uh, so emails, if we go to the emails tab, this is where we would set up the emails that come to us, our notification emails. Um, we can customize our email template that goes out to customers here. Uh, I'm not going to get into the details of that. And then there's the integration tab. And this is where you could uh, enter your Google Analytics ID, um, whatever else you want to. There's also share your cart integration, which is cool. It basically, it's like a social media type thing for your cart for customers can share what they're purchasing with their friends so that's cool you can set that up um, but anyway so that is the WooCommerce settings again I just wanted to go through that very quickly and show you some of the mo more important things to set up on your first pass through there's only a couple things you might need to tweak you're gonna fine tune your settings after you have your product set up um, and you actually see how your site's working, then you can go in and say, oh, okay, I'm going to make this adjustment. Just know that you can do that within the WooCommerce settings section. And then there's the reports. Um, reports basically, we have this is a brand new site, so we haven't sold anything, so we don't have any reports, but it'll give you reports on your sales, your customers, your stock. Actually, if I log into one of my other sites that actually has been up for a while and running this, if we go to reports I can give you an example of what they would look like after you've made some sales so you know see total sales total orders uh, your average order total uh, and all this information then you just have a chart over here customers um, and so forth I didn't have any that actually signed up for account so but whatever so you can really see a lot of information you can sort it by sales by day month product sales top sellers top earners whatever you want and then orders, if you click on orders here, here's where you actually get, can go in depth and see the details of the order. You can view, uh, see all your different customers. Um, coupons, here you can set up coupons. Um, so if you want to add a coupon, you can go ahead and do that, which is great for, um, for marketing. And you could actually put your, you could market your site via the many uh, coupon websites that are out there, like Retail Me Not, and I don't. There's hundreds of them, and they're actually great, great ways to drive uh, free traffic to your site. You know, so you might set up a free shipping coupon or a 10% off or whatever your coupon, uh, whatever coupon you want to create. You can create them in here as many as you want. All right, so uh, that's really the uh, WooCommerce. That's a quick run through through the WooCommerce settings. Um, again, if you have specific questions, just contact me through uploadwp.com. And uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go through the Woo Store settings, which is going to be more of the theme and look and feel settings. Okay, so uh, we'll do that in the next video. My name is Adam with uploadwp.com.